What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is Friday. We are actually headed to the track tonight. I know you're about to ask. You're about to comment down below, am I running the car? Simple answer, no. The reason why, I still have the 20 inch ET Street SS's on the back and those just aren't gonna cut it at the track. Even on my lowest boost setting, I don't believe they'll hook up. Now, I may get to the track and decide I wanna run the car just to see what it can do on the lowest boost setting, but on those 20 inch ET Street SS's, it's not gonna do very much. The only thing it would tell me would, it would kinda give me a trap mile an hour idea for the roll race next week, um, but that's about it. Here's the kicker. The DA today, I'll show you real quick, is 7,800 right now. It was actually like 8,200 about an hour, two hours ago because it was 100 degrees. So if you guys don't know what DA is, it's density altitude. Pretty much, you can figure like a half a tenth to almost a tenth off of your ET by the thousand foot that you drop in DA. It doesn't always work that way, but that's kind of like an average number. But it's the humidity, temperature, and the elevation all combined to come up with the DA. Now, places like Houston and on the East Coast where all these people break records in these cars, they're running in like negative 1,000, negative 2,000 DA. There is some people running positive 1,000, positive 2,000. That's still really low DA compared to where we are. So just to give you an idea, I ran a 971 in my Hellcat here at 5,500 DA. I went to Oklahoma and in 2,500 DA, I went 9.5. So there you go. Simple explanation for you. But the DA is super high today. It is super hot out. So it's not very, it's not really favoring for the car, but we are going to take the car out there. I'm going to bring some extra Ignite E90 just in case I do want to run it, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to. Also, I do have a buddy, DFW Wes, who's got some 16 inch wheels out there. We're going to see if those fit, but I'm pretty sure they don't because I don't have a rear brake conversion, but they are 16s. They're not 15. So maybe they will fit. Side note, I got a new helmet. Let me show you guys. Let me, let me put you down real quick. I got a new race helmet for the season. Safety is very important and I wanted like an actual drag racing helmet. I didn't want to keep using my motorcycle helmet this year. So I got this race quip one. It's pretty nice. They definitely make a more modern version where it's a little more sleeker. This one's kind of big and rounded. Um, but this is a nice helmet. They're pretty inexpensive and they are approved for drag racing. So that is the new helmet. So I'm gonna fill up a couple gallons of E90, bring a couple tools just in case, and uh, we'll see you guys at the track. So we tried these wheels to fit on the Mustang and they would not fit just like I assumed. So we're just gonna chill and take some photos and watch some people run.
gdzie... running the wheels that we thought would fit didn't end up fitting and I just really don't want to go out there on 20s because I don't want to you know hit crowds things that Mustangs do so I like to stay away from the crowds away from the wall and uh, I'll be out next weekend though at the roll race event Rigo is supposed to bring me some 18s and at least they're ET Street R's like I said these are ET Street SS they just don't do that well especially on a track that's not prepped that well Friday nights here test and tune not that good of a track Saturdays I might be able to get away with it um, but yeah, I just feel more comfortable going out on like some 17 or 18 inch ET Street R's. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. A lot of awesome cars out there. I just love going to the track. It's so much fun. See all the people that you don't get to see all the time. Just hang out, have a good time, watch some fast cars. And uh, yeah, the DA's shitty. The track's not that great all the time, but it's just fun to go out there and uh, just race with your friends and just watch. And it was a good time. So, Kennedy and I took some good photos if you guys want to go see those they'll be on our van Boris media facebook page as we're going to try and do a little bit more event coverage especially at the local track because we really want to support the local track so hope you guys enjoyed this video as always make sure you comment like subscribe follow me on instagram and snapchat at vanby39 i will see you guys on the next one man that is a good looking truck you never get to see your daily from the outside until someone else drives it. Good looking truck. She almost just ran that red light. <laughs> oh, man, that is a good looking truck. Kennedy is about to launch and probably get pulled over in three, two, one.